Swimming with the fishes. How Jaws showed me the pointlessness of existence. This summertime blockbuster follows a great white shark on its relentless feeding frenzy amongst the vacationing masses at Amity Island. Poor souls thinking a beach trip would lift their spirits instead find themselves sinking deep to join Davy Jones's locker in a most literal sense. We're introduced to police chief Martin Brody, a man locked in a lifelong struggle against his thalassophobia. Just as he finally summons the courage to dip his toes in the surf, fate decides now is the time to remind him of humanity's insignificance against the uncaring brutality of nature. His panic and failure to protect townsfolk afford much schadenfreude for viewers seeking light in dark places. Our shark's merciless maw wastes no time beginning its grisly work, selecting victims with appetites as varied as its palate. The elderly, pregnant women, young lovers, all get the same taste test. With a population this diverse, our finned friend has a veritable cornucopia to sample. Tourism dollars may be lost, but the food chain marches on regardless of economic concerns. Some circles of life spin harder than others. A post-mortem of the partly devoured reveals deeper mysteries. What trauma or personal failings led this person to such a wretched end? Did their final moments bring crisis of faith or calm acceptance of one's predestined role as fish fodder? Alas, we'll never know as their tales die with them, another nameless statistic to add levity between bites. The circle of life's sick jokes know no bounds. Our intrepid trio of town, navy and science take to the waters each bringing their own neuroses. But can their meager skills and small-town budgets compete with a flawlessly evolved killing machine with millions of years perfecting its craft? All seem fated to become chum and merely delay the inevitable with their quixotic quest. Sometimes the greatest struggles are against forces beyond our mortal scopes. Ultimately, Jaws reminds that in the natural order, death comes to all whether by tooth, time or tide. No amount of technology, policy or spirit can save us from leaving this earth as briny buffet. All we can do is pretend at purpose and meaning till the waters close over our heads, then become fodder for those yet to fall. The circle of life and of reviews comes full. Now who's ready for a swim?